Question 14 from Section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. A nucleus represented by 223 Francium 87 decays by beta emission. The symbol representing the nucleus formed as a result of this decay is, and you'll get your five choices. A quick recap on the symbols used in the nuclear equations. And we can see for the first one we have the mass number and the atomic number. The mass number represents the top number, that's the number of protons and neutrons. The bottom number, in the case of francium-87, is the number of protons in the nucleus. Now, for a beta particle, we have the following situation here. A beta particle has a no mass number and it has an atomic number of minus one, because it's a really a fast-moving electron. Now, the key for these equations is the following. The sum of the mass numbers on the left-hand side of a nuclear equation must equal the sum of the mass numbers on the right-hand side. And similarly, we have the sum of the atomic numbers on the left-hand side of a nuclear equation must equal the sum of the atomic numbers on the right-hand side. So, let's write out the nuclear equation which we're dealing with here. We have 223, 223, and it's francium. And it's got an atomic number of 87. And it's going to decay into a element which has got a mass number and an atomic number. And it's given off a beta particle. And the beta particle is minus 1 and 0. Now, just looking very closely at that, you can see that uh, for the mass numbers, 223 on the left-hand side. So if we go to the left-hand side and the right-hand side. For the left-hand side mass numbers, we've got 2, 2, 3, and that must equal to m plus 0. So therefore, m is going to be equal to 2, 2, 3. So it's not going to change. What about the atomic numbers? Well, on the left-hand side for the atomic numbers, we have got 87. And on the right-hand side, we have got the missing atomic number, A. Put the equal sign in here. A, and we have got the minus 1 here. So, we have A equal to 88. So, our missing element has got a mass number of 223, and it's got an atomic number of 88. Now, if we look at the list, we can see that must be read on from the first part of the, of the answers. So, it's going to be C. So, Question number 14 is a nuclear reaction. The key thing to remember is sum of the mass numbers on the left-hand side equals the sum of the mass numbers on the right-hand side. The sum of the atomic numbers on the left-hand side equals the sum of the atomic numbers on the right-hand side. Make up your other equations and solve for the missing numbers. Answer C for question 14. Question 15 from section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. The diagram shows an experiment set up to investigate the photoelectric effect. The frequency of the incident radiation is varied and the current in the circuit is measured. Which graph on the right shows the relationship between the current I in the circuit and the frequency F of the incident radiation? Well, the key factor here is we must remember this. For a particular metal, if the incident radiation is below a certain frequency, called the threshold frequency, no photoelectrons are emitted. Now, we look at graph A, we can see that for all the frequencies, you're going to get photoelectrons emitted to make the current. So, graph A is wrong. Graph B, once again, for all the frequencies, you're going to get photoelectrons emitted and a photoelectric current. No. For graph C, for all the frequencies you change, you're going to get an emitted photoelectrons and a current. So that's wrong as well. For graph D, you can see that for all the frequencies we vary, you're going to get emitted photoelectrons and you're going to get a current. So that is wrong. But if we look at graph E, we can see that for this metal, for a certain frequency, above that certain frequency, you'll get emission of photoelectrons, therefore you'll get the photoelectric current. But below this frequency, you'll get no current, no photoelectrons emitted. And that point here we know is called the threshold frequency. And that means that anything below that frequency, any radiation below that frequency shown on that metal, will not produce photoelectrons. 
So our answer is this one here, 15E.